Hi guys, so today we are doing another foundation review. This was requested by one of you in my AOA Studio brush 10 piece set review, which I will link up over here. And I was really excited that one of you requested this because I've been wanting to try it, but it's really expensive. I ordered a sample through So Schwa. I will have them linked down below. And they are a subscription box service, but they provide five samples per month to you for $15 a month. I just chose the monthly one. They have different choices is for how many months that you want to buy at a time but I just did one month at a time $15 per month so what you do is you go to their website which will be linked down below create your sign-in information go in choose if you're paying by month or for three months or whichever uh, complete that purchase then you will confirm your email after you have done that you can go back in and you will add which products that you want in your box to what is called your queue and you can add however many you want but they will be ranked from one to however many and they will send you the first five items that are in your queue as long as they are in stock if there are any items that are not in your queue that are not in stock they will just send you whichever item is next on your queue so I got five items you always get five items and they suggest that you keep items in your queue so that way when it comes to next month's send out you already have your five items in your queue that you want otherwise they will choose your samples for you so um, if you don't mind that then that's okay then it's like a surprise every single month but if there are specific products that you want to try then obviously you want to keep the products in your queue so uh, if you want to see a full video on Sochual and the products that I got in my first box and my experience with them, leave me a comment down below. I would love to do that. So I ordered my sample, like I said, from Sochual and I got the shade Bisque. And I'm hoping that the fact that I got a sample size product does not affect my thoughts on the product because obviously it's not the same um, application style. This is a stick foundation. They say that the sample sizes that you get should provide you with one to two uses. And I've heard some people say that they get more than that out of it too. So if you do, then it's definitely worth the money. So let's go in. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hopefully the shade matches, but luckily I'm wearing my turtleneck today. So, so even if it doesn't, you're not going to be able to tell. I just thought that I'd be extra and wear a turtleneck. Okay, so this is covering pretty well. I should have actually gotten close up and showed you my skin. So I have combination skin. I get oily in my T-zone. Sometimes I struggle with dry patches on the rest of my face. I have a lot of acne and scarring on my face, a lot of texture, and you may have seen that before I started applying my makeup, but I didn't actually go in and show you, so sorry. I'm sorry, I always forget to do that. So right now I totally feel like I'm like blending nothing into my skin. I am having to go in and layer this. This looks like it is an okay match. I think I could afford to go one shade lighter, but that's okay. I don't need as much coverage on my forehead as I need like in my cheek areas. This side looks like it is pretty much full coverage. So I'm just gonna add a little bit on this side. This is like my worst side as far as my acne and scarring. Oh my God, I think it's choking me. I think I can maybe get one more use out of this. So right now I think that I like the way everything looks. It looks like it covered everything on my skin for the most part. I mean, I see some of that coming through still, but it doesn't seem to wanna layer to like a complete full coverage. I'm just a little concerned about it getting cakey since it is a stick foundation and stick foundations are a little thicker than regular foundations. So uh, I think I'm just gonna like leave it at that. We're gonna run with concealer now and I'm gonna use the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Light Natural. And I just did a first impressions of Catrice Cosmetics. I will link it up here and down below for you guys. I did forget to tell you guys it's 3.15 right now. I'm getting a super late start. So I guess I'll have to stay up a little bit late tonight so I can give you like a at least eight hour wear time. So right now I think my skin looks really nice. Uh, after putting my concealer on, I think that the coverage looks pretty full. Initially, I think I was getting about medium coverage with this. If I had the stick, I probably could have used more product on that first layer and probably had an initial full coverage. It is looking about a satin matte finish and it's not settling horribly into my lines on my forehead, but it is settling a little bit. But that happens with every freaking foundation I use. And for not using a smoothing primer, I think that my pores are looking pretty decent. Let's let you get a good look at my skin right now. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in and set everything on my face and then I will come back and let you know what I think. Okay, at this point I cannot take my eyebrows seriously. I'm trying to fix them, but they're just a hot mess, so they're just gonna have to be a freaking hot mess. Okay, so the rest of my makeup is on and I think everything went on so beautifully. My skin looks really, really nice. The finish after powdering my face is definitely matte. I really like the way things are looking. The foundation is not settling into my wrinkles on my forehead at all. Also, my pores are not very noticeable, which is nice, and I did not use a pore filling primer either. So, I mean, I like the way that looks. I don't feel like I would need to use a pore filling primer with this. I don't know if it's worth the price tag, but you know, it's uh, it looks really beautiful at this moment in time. So really quickly, I realized that I did not go over the claims with you. This foundation, did I even say what foundation I was using? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick retails for $46 and you get 0.25 ounces of product. That is insane and like ridiculous to me. I can't even imagine that this is gonna be worth the price tag to me. Right now, like I said, I like the finish and I like the way my skin looks, but I, at this moment, would not commit to that price tag at all. It looks like there are 26 shades on Sephora's website and they recommend that you use their foundation brush that costs like uh, your sole and a uh, couple toes. So yeah, I, no, no thanks. The coverage claims to be medium to buildable full and they claim that it is good for sensitive, normal, dry combination or oily skin. So it is good for all skin types. Sephora's website claims that the finish is satin, matte, radiant, or natural. I'm assuming that would depend on the primer that you use and whether or not you set it with a powder and you know, which powder that you do use. It says what it is is a long wearing foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer, fluidity of a liquid, and weightlessness of a powder for invisible full coverage. I definitely think it looks like I have makeup on right now. I don't know that I would say that it is invisible. Maybe if you don't have anything to cover and you don't use a lot of product, maybe, I don't know. And then the claims for what it does. A foundation and concealer in one, Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Sticks Concentrated Formula is infused with double the amount of pigment than traditional foundations for instant full coverage in one application. The long wearing waterproof formula provides 12 hour coverage and the innovative formula adjusts your body temperature to effortless, effort, to effortless, to effortlessly blend into the skin. Encased in a unique triangular bullet for precise application along the contours of the face, it can be used to contour and highlight the complexion. It features an array of shades and is specifically designed to be used with the Vanish Foundation Brush for the most seamless finish. Like I said, that brush costs an arm and a leg and a sole, so I would never spend that. Sorry, I just, I wouldn't. Sorry, Hourglass. But I have foundation brushes that are amazing that work with pretty much every foundation that I use, so I would never spend that much money. This foundation stick has no parabens, no sulfates, and no phthalates. Phthalates, phthalates. At this moment in time, I would not spend the $46 on it, but let's just wait and see how it wears. It did say that it was supposed to provide 12 hour coverage. I don't think that I'm gonna get to that 12 hour mark today, but I will definitely at least get to that eight hour mark. I will check back in a couple hours and let you know how things are looking. Okay guys, so it is 7.30 and it's been about four and a half hours. I did like the way that the foundation looked after it warmed up to my skin a little bit, but I still thought that it looked kind of heavy. And now that um, some of my oils are coming through, I definitely obviously look oily and I think that it's looking just a little heavy uh, around my pores and just in the nose area. I don't know if you can see that it just looks kind of cakey. It's still not settling in the lines on my forehead. My pores don't look much different. They are a little more noticeable now that I'm looking a little bit oily. I am getting some creasing right here and right here, which is, I always crease there. That's why I have to bake that area all the time. Right now, I kind of feel the same way about the foundation. I would not spend the $46 on it. Even if you got one full ounce of product, I still don't think that I would spend $46 on it. I will check back in another couple hours and let you know how everything is looking and what I'm thinking. Okay, my little dearies, so I almost went to bed before filming my last check-in. I have been editing for the last, uh, I don't know, like four hours. So it is 12.15. The foundation has been on for almost nine and a half hours. I think that overall, like, I mean, even though I look really oily right now and it's probably a little intensified because of the lights on me, 
Um, I do think that it's held up okay. I don't think that it looks horrible. I also don't think that it looks amazing either and I haven't thought it looked amazing this whole day. I guess that I, um, I mean, <laughs> Even though I look oily, I actually prefer the way my skin looks now rather than what it looked like when I first put it on. I just didn't like how matte it was when I first put it on. So I uh, think that obviously it still is looking pretty heavy on like around my nose. And I don't know if it's gonna focus on that or not, but it definitely looks heavy around there. It looks oily on my forehead where I always look oily. Um, yeah, I don't know that, you know, my thoughts are pretty much what they were earlier. I still would not buy this foundation. I think that this foundation is really overpriced. If you are getting a full ounce of product, it wouldn't be as bad, but you're only getting 0.25 ounces or 0.26, I don't remember, but I mean, you're literally getting like a quarter of an ounce for almost $50, and that is insane. If you want something that's gonna be full coverage and that is going to last throughout the day, then I would definitely recommend Marc Jacobs Remarkable. I mean, that's if you are like insisting that you get a high-end foundation. I have a ton of drugstore foundations that I love that are full coverage that I prefer over this one. And so, I mean, same thoughts as I've had all day. It's not worth the money to me. I'm sorry, Hourglass. So unfortunately, this is just a luxury product that I would not spend my money on and I cannot recommend to you guys because I just don't think it's worth it. Let's just wrap this video up. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if there are any other foundations that you want to see me review, please leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.